like Ben Shabibo, who reached critical levels of, of, uh, uh, of, of not recognizing the many things you can do in this circumstance, in this situation. Critical levels that, um, uh, critical levels such as defending, defending Ted Cruz for flying out to Cancun in the middle of a fucking massive crisis in, in, in his own state. Let's see what Ben Shibibo had to say about it. I mean, the depths that these motherfuckers will sink to is insane, dude. And meanwhile, the media are going nuts today because Ted Cruz apparently is in Cancun. Now, I will admit that this is bad optics. Of course, it's bad optics. Whenever there's a crisis, if you are seen to be having any sort of good time because our politics are incredibly stupid, this means that you're responsible for the crisis. Everything in politics is performative right now. Members of Congress don't do anything for a living. All they do is gather once every so often. I love when Ben says everything in politics is performative right now. Like, bitch, what do you do? You're literally performatively defending months, Ted Cruz uh, right now, and you performatively oh outrage over dumb shit every goddamn fucking day. And to spend too much of your money. And so everything becomes performative. Right? The reason that AOC is a star is because she goes to immigration facilities and takes photo shoots outside immigration facilities being emotional in response to what is going on, apparently, inside the immigration facilities. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, the more performative you are in politics, the better you do these days. That is just the reality of the situation. So I get that it's bad optics for Ted Cruz to take his family on vacation to Cancun right now. It even sounds bad. But let's be real about this for just one second. This is one of the stupidest aspects of our politics. Like, what exactly? It's not a real-time crisis that Ted Cruz, the senator from Texas, can do anything about. Because the senator from Texas is, in fact, in the United States Senate. He's a federal officer, right? He's a federal elected official. This is up to the mayor of Houston. And like the governor of Texas. And all yeah, I mean, what could senators do? I mean, seriously. Like, what could they do? I don't know. Fucking not leave for Cancun and go volunteer at a fucking shelter. But no, that's performative. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because in Ben Shapiro's worldview, like helping other, you know, people within your neighborhood or within your vicinity or within reach is always considered a performative act Man. so in his and if ted cruz did it let's be real it would be performative but at least he could say well i i'm doing my part meanwhile ben is like ah, everything he, uh, this is all performative so let him have fun i, I don't understand and all the people who are state level officials and also i, I just wonder what is ted cruz like it, did they expect ted to go there with like a blowtorch and start defrosting all of the pipelines. He can do what Beto O'Rourke does and he can tweet out a bunch of links to people who are helping out. I'm sure Ted's already done that. But the, the, the notion that the gravest of all sins is that you took your family to a place that is not Texas in the middle of a bad situation in Texas. My favorite part of this is all the journalists in their heated apartments in New York who are tweeting angrily about all of this. I can't believe Ted Cruz would do something like this. Oh, yeah. I see you there on the ground handing out food. 17 months. Really, well, well done there. Really, really. Yeah, no, try to fly into Texas in the midst of a pandemic or not in the midst of a pandemic while there's also like flights are fucking grounded while there are zero empty hotel rooms. What an incredible fucking take, dude. What an incredible fucking take, dude. It is brilliant. Absolute brilliance, dude. What are journalists supposed to do? They're just scolding people like, oh, you mean they're fucking doing their jobs as like covering the fucking news and expressing outrage like normal people would in a situation where a senator who, who claims to fucking love a state dipped the fuck out and then blamed it on his daughter too? Dipped the fuck out on vacation in the midst of a fucking massive crisis? How can anyone look at this and be like, yeah, Ben is like, really? Yeah, I can't believe... Uh, Ben Ben's such an honest guy. Like he, he's really he's an honest guy. He's really genuine. He's got a good moral compass. Like he's not just some fucking grifter dipshit who uh, rushes to defend uh, Republicans at every stage. Like when when Gavin Newsom got caught in fucking 4K, I made fun of him. I thought it was fucking absolutely unacceptable. Why are you shitting on Ted Cruz? He's not wasting resources by being in Texas. <laughs> Fuck up. Oh my God. Dinesh D'Souza also had this to say. What could Ted Cruz do What's if he were in Texas? I'm hard pressed to say. 
If he's in Cancun, that means he's not using up valuable resources of energy, food, and water that cannot be used by someone else. This is probably the best thing he could do for the state right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is, it's got to be fucking parody. Ted Cruz is actually saving the state by leaving it is the best thing I've ever fucking uh, seen. Yeah, Ted Cruz licks his wife's boyfriend's feet. I was watching this people stream live. Even his chat was pissed at him for his takes on Cruz and the windmills. To be honest, the best thing Ted Cruz can do no during normal times is get the fuck out of Texas. Okay. You can't use how reprehensible of a human being Ted Cruz is to say, to justify his vacation time, okay? You can't do that. You can't be like, because he's such a disgusting, vile, repulsive human being that no one wants to be around, that like him being away from a, a, a place of crisis uh, automatically makes the situation better. You can't say that. It's true, but you still can't say that. Ted Cruz can't come out and be like, well, you know, I'm a vile human being who, who, who has absolutely no interest in helping others so uh i you know not being around me is probably going to be good maybe texas needs some time off from from old uh theodore jebediah edward Raphael cruz you know better yet he should stick his head in the gulf for 10 minutes to free up precious oxygen for someone in need <laughs> yeah no excuse pack is currently running this ad in Texas. Tweet via Dave Weigel. Across the state of Texas, homes are without power. They're without water. Our loved ones are dying. And our senator decided this would be a good time for a Mexican vacation. He a got Mexi busted for A Mexican vacation. He didn't even go to Oklahoma. He went to Mexico. Actually, never mind. Oklahoma's worse than Mexico. There's one place in the entire country we hate more as Texans is Oklahoma. Britain decided to feed us a line of malarkey about how he's just going to accompany the family down there for a day. You may be thinking, what could Ted Cruz do anyway? Well, Beto O'Rourke organized phone banks to do wellness checks on the elderly. And if they weren't doing well, he made sure that he got them help. Cancun Cruz is an embarrassment to Texas. Has been, always will be. No excuses pack is responsible for the content of this act. I love that. He's doing a Mexican vacation. He's taking our U.S. dollars down to Cancun. He's harvesting the American dollar down in Mexico while his fellow Texans are starving in food lines. Love you, his Let son. me tell you something, Theodore. Raphael, let me tell you something, Raphael. We won't be putting up with your Cancun bullshit no more. 